Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to a glorious sunny Sunday. Really nice out. I went out last night and I bought some carrots for Penny. I'm gonna bribe her with carrots. That's my goal. Because she likes me. And I'm gonna hide them so Laura doesn't give them all to her. So I don't run out of carrots. Morning, Penny. Morning. Look what I got you, a bag of carrots. Hi, hey, Gracie. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you a carrot too. Hey? How you doing? I will, oh, I didn't forget about you either. I'll give you a carrot later. Here you go. There you go, have your breakfast. Next in line. There you go. Here's your breakfast. I went and got some hay yesterday. I usually they do hay like once a week, but I'm thinking I'm, I should, on the nice days, stock up on hay. It's on the bad weeks that it's really snowing out and raining out and really cold and I don't have to do it. So my goal is to get more hay, maybe next week. I'll do a couple loads or three loads. My other goal was to put it all into this stall, but it's full of jumps and stuff. Yesterday I also put the big water bucket out. It used to be over there, the little black one, and I moved it over here. And the reason I moved over here is to give more room for Laura to run around with her horse. All right, so that is a big long carrot, and they're all gonna share it. They're getting the carrot, and they're all gonna share it. All right. Gracie, you're up first. You're up first. Have a bite. Don't take a big bite. Don't take a big bite. Take a little bite. All right, there you go. Good job. All right. You can go. I'm hiding the carrot. You can go out now. Go eat some hay. No, nope, no more carrots, see? Nothing in my hand. Okay, come on. Get out there. You want to enjoy all the hay I put out for you. Get. Come on. Get going. Get going. You ready for your piece of carrot? There you go. Have a bite. Have a bite. Can you bite it? Oh, that's a small bite. Here you get another one. Because you only have a little piece. Okay, there you go. That's your carrot. Okay, you can go now. You can go. Go eat your hay. I don't want no more hay. I want more carrot. No, no more carrot. No more carrot. Let's go. Come on. Get out there. Go eat your hay. Every time Penny puts on her halter, I never have a treat for you, but today I got a carrot for you, okay, Penny? Let's put on your halter first. Put on your halter first, okay? Can I do this while I'm videoing? Laura doesn't know this, but I bought her a halter for Christmas. Or the Mew halter for Christmas. So don't tell her. <laughs> All right, are you ready? And hopefully it'd be easier to put on than this one. This one's not that easy to put on, is it? Oh, weird. Okay, here you go. Good girl. Get it around your ear. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. And I got a carrot for you. Are you ready for your carrot? There you go. Oh, don't take that big of a bite. You're taking a big bite. Too big of a bite. Little bites. Girl. Yes, I got more. You eat that one first. Bite it off. There you go. Girl. And now keep the rest for in the arena, okay? I walk her out with a halter. I know I'm probably not supposed to do that, but that's how I walk her out in the morning. Soon I'll be letting her walk out by herself. Swing around. 
Swing around, let me close the door. Take that halter off. Girl, girl. Here, you want your other carrot now? You want your piece of carrot? There we go. Give you another piece of carrot. There we go. Like it? Yum. Look at her eyes. A gunk all over your eyes. Your eyes are really, really watery. I swear she's warming up to me, guys. She is warming up to me. Care of the day. Makes your horse day. <laughs> hey? I have no more. That's it. Go eat some hay. Go eat some hay before your sisters eat it all. Yeah, go, go get them. Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday. Today is Sunday and it is glorious outside, sunny, looks warm. It's supposed to be about a high of five today. In the kitchen, cooking like a good husband. He's making bacon for breakfast. Are you making eggs too? No. Just bacon? All right, Gabby, tell the truth. What time did you go to bed last night? Uh, Was it like 5 a.m.? No. 3 a.m.? I don't know, somewhere around that. Around 3 a.m.? What time did you go to bed last night? Close, like, 11.20? 11 11.20? What time did you go to bed last night? I don't know, I kept getting up for all these stupid reasons. <laughs> well, my phone wouldn't charge! Yeah. It's not a stupid reason! People need their phones! Yeah, so, I mean, if your dad is sound asleep, why not wake him up so he can charge your phone for you? Ago. Yeah, but he was already snoring. Well, of course you guys stop the snoring for you. <laughs> I really am. I can pick you yeah, up. Yeah, usually I, I can pick you up. Oh! I don't like that feeling. But anyway, welcome to Sunday. We are getting ready for the day. It's already almost noon. Wait, I have to do stuff. Yeah, we. Oh yeah, God. you're helping me, sister. Sam, and we are. Oh yeah. We're going to watch movies and wrap presents and be best friends. Oh, we're doing more than that. But today, we are splitting up the day-by-day -day family. Sam and Gabby are going off on their own. Sophie and I are doing our own thing, and we're going to bring you guys along with us. Yesterday, we got some packages we wanted to share with you. Horse mom. Can I have it? I know, it's so cute, huh? I'm a mom, too. Yeah, you are a horse mom. I love it. This adorable horse mom shirt, nice and lightweight t-shirt, is sent to us from the Mutt Junkie. The Mutt Junkie. So you can find the Mutt Junkie on Instagram or on Etsy. The Mutt Junkie has an Etsy shop. Etsy is one of mine and Sophie's favorite places to shop. I love it. Yeah, I like it, too. It is so super Ooh, cute. Oh, so I can go buy their, their shirts? Yeah, you can go buy them. Anybody can go buy them. Follow them. Well, first you should follow them at the Mutt Junkie on Instagram so you can see the stuff that they have and you can place an order. First we'll buy and then we'll follow. First we'll buy and then we'll follow. Follow first, then buy. So then we got a letter from Brianna. I loved her letter, but she also sent me this gorgeous painting of our logo. I love it. I, I love our logo, you guys. It, it, it totally signifies exactly what I think of when I think of our vlog. Day by day vlogs. Brianna also sent me this gorgeous picture. Who do you think it is? Name this horse. Don't say it. Don't say it. Um, Barbie. Yes, she looks like a Barbie. That is the clue. Oh, no, 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 no. Super cute. And she sent Sophie a package. And she sent Gabby a package. It's a titty. It is adorable. He looks so cute in pink. How cute is that, though? I mean, like, his color used to be blue, but now it's pink. Is it pink now? Yeah, yeah she must have read your mind. It is adorable. Thank you, Brianna. Gabby. Who do you think it's going to be? Storm. Yep, I think it's Storm too. It's storm. Oh, it's adorable. What an amazing keepsake forever. It is adorable. Oh, what an amazing thing. I don't know why Finn is on a small one. Because he's a pony and Storm's a horse. So. Yeah, so gorgeous. Thanks, Brianna. Thanks, Brianna, for your letter. It was beautiful. I loved it. I loved reading about your story, and thank you for the pictures. It's so sweet, so kind, so amazing. We also got our very first Christmas card. So this is our first Christmas card, and it's a horsey one. It is from Linda and Sparrow Moon. Linda and Sparrow Moon. I'm assuming Sparrow Moon is her dog or her horse. 
and she sent us this gorgeous Christmas card and it's gonna go where our Christmas cards go right up here so thank you so much for that hi guys I'm with Gabby and we are at the barn there's Gabby and we're gonna change blankets it's such a nice day out today. They're gonna get their other blanket on. They have to get their other blankets on because it's nice out and we put winter ones on for some reason and I don't know why. Weather changes like that all the time. All right, I spy with my little eye. Storm, you're right there, thank goodness. Yes, I don't have to go far to get Storm. I just have to trek through this mud to get to Storm. And Gabby has to go way over the other field, way down there in the other field, because that's where all the other ones are. Hopefully, um, Finn will come here because I have to change his... Oh no, where's Storm go? Storm took off on me and now I'm walking through the mud. Storm! 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 I've got a carrot for you. Not right now, but I do have one. Don't you just love mushy weather? Slopping in the mud. Should have brought my other barn boots. Uh, Laura bought me a pair of barn boots. I wasn't expecting to go through this mud. Here for this guy, right here. He's running away from me. Come here, Storm. Just gonna change your blankie. Had to walk all the way over here just to get him. Could have went your way. Right, Ben, you're next. Hopefully you're not gonna run away from me. Okay, don't run away from me when I come back. Oh, big surprise. Hello, Penny Pickle. I wanted to call her so many things, none of them being Penny Pickle, but she is Penny Pickle. Oh, that is a mint. What do you think of that? She says, I like it. So she's gotten to learn our time of the day and when we come down. So shocking, shocking you guys, something shocking is happening on the day by day farm. Someone tried to steal Penny. Someone is currently trying to steal Penny. Wow, you guys are messy. You are all messy. So I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but Sam has seriously been trying to bond with my horse and take her. I know, you need it cleaned. You like to have it cleaned. I forget, you like it cleaned. Yeah. Anyways, it's true. He wants my horse not to ride, but to love. He wants my horse to love him. Love him above all. Did you notice Dad's trying to steal my horse? Huh? Do you know Dad's trying to steal? He's bringing all these horse treats. Yeah, he's bringing horse treats down, buying horse treats. I know. This is crazy. Hey, Chino, at least you didn't run away. Hey. Eh? You see you didn't run away. I'm gonna change your blanket too, but you're gonna get a workout. Storm still has the shoes on, isn't that lucky? Same with Chino. Oh, there's all that mud out there, you think they lose a the shoe. Alright, Storm's all set. He got his rain sheet on, insulated rain sheet. Give you a carrot, eh? Hey boy. Now you can go back outside. Go play with your friends. Okay, let me uh, get you out and we'll get Finn in here. Change blankets. Good idea? Okay, Storm. I'm gonna let you go now. What I want you to do is I want you to go get Finn for me, okay? You go tell Finn. Go tell Finn I want him. I'm gonna change his blanket, so go tell Finn, okay? Alright? Tell him I got a carrot for him. Go get him. Go tell him. Go tell him to come here. I'll give him a carrot. Panic! Oh my god. I need a halter. Oh my god. Here, I got a carrot. Here. Hey, crazy. Here, I got a carrot. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. So I walked in from the arena and I turned to close the door and Gracie was right on my heels. I didn't know. Here, just wrap the... Just... She's not getting a carrot. That was just ridiculous. You're not getting the carrot. Good thing it was her and not Willow. Oh, man. Otherwise, 
because Willow, we would still be chasing her around. My heart is still racing. She came in the into the barn behind my back. Like I turned to go and close the door, and she was right behind me. I was gonna say something. <laughs> well, she's not gonna run. And then, like they know, they spend their whole day plotting how to get free. So she ran by me, and I'm like, oh crap, the door is open. So I grabbed a hold of her tail, and I held her as tight as I could. I started saying, and she started booking it. <laughs> And then she started booking it. Oh my god, you guys, it was awful. It was the worst thing. Like, I knew she was going out the door. She knew she was going out the door. And I was like, pulling her tail by the hardest I could. And I'm like, Sophie, she's going for the door. I think Sophie was going to be able to run. I was closing the door so that no one else would get it. Yeah. So anyways, she... <laughs> so I'm like, she's pulling me and I can't stop her. And then all of a sudden, uh, she just booked it right out the door. But like, she's, she's pretty powerful. Excited. Yeah. She went so up to the top of the hill, and she went over there, and then I caught her because she's like the easiest thing to catch. Thank the Lord. All right, let's Good go. Thing it wasn't Willow. Yeah, if it was Willow, we'd be in trouble. So she came right out the door, whoosh, and ran in there. And Sophie's like, because we were panicking. Sophie's like, yes, go in there. Wait, the entrance is open over there. Don't go in there. Like we were freaking out. Sam, I almost used one of your carrots. Oh. oh my gosh. What a brat you are. Come here, Finn. I got a carrot for you. Everybody's coming. But Finn. Come on, Finn. Got a carrot for you. Oh, I can't even see you all of a sudden. Storm, you're a little late. You're a little late in telling Finn to come. I gave you 15 minutes and you still, now you just show up. A little bit late. All right, Finn, let's get going. Yeah, now you're gonna tell him it's too late now. Well, we made it through the treacherous mud, Finn and I. Gino's standing here by the gate, so Gabby's ready to ride. So I will be uh, videoing that once I get Gino, I mean Finn's blankie on, okay? See you later, Finn. See you later. Last summer, you guys might remember that our horses got into a fight in the field. Slid, Finn slid into the fence, took the fence down, and the horses booked it. Like we pretty much saw it happen, and they ran to the driveway, up the driveway, and out of our yard. Like back then, I thought, like, do they, do they know? Like, do they? Are they trying to go someplace? Like, do they know? Like, if I leave here and go this way, I'll be free? And I think they do. I'm happy to have you back too, Gracie. Oh, don't ever do that again. That was horrifying. Imagine it was Penny. What would we do? Um, you would run all the way down there with a rope, block that end, I would close that off, try and get her in the arena. Well, I mean, Penny comes to treat, so. Willow does too. Okay. Holy heck. All right, let's go. You are, you are banned from the arena. Yeah. See, watch. This is what she does. Like, she she stands there and is like, I'm going with you. Oh, we need Ruby. Ruby. Oh. Oh. Ruby. Willow. <laughs> you better stop that, you little mini. Horse mom. That's me, you guys. Horse mom. I love it. Go. So uh, the plan for when uh, Gabby and Sam are away is that Sophie and I are going to wrap presents. We got a bunch of presents here, a bunch of presents all over the place that we need to get wrapped. Like I'm a pretty much done the Christmas shopping for people. I just have to wait for a couple things to come in. And this is a catch. Let's ball. I want to be done wrapping and shopping. I want to get my groceries done. I haven't done that yet. I want to like I want to get it all done, you guys. All the baking, all of it. I want at least two weeks of a break before Christmas. So, so we are gonna sit here, wrap presents, and watch a movie this while Sam help. and Gabby are out at the bar. Well, that was a fun ride, eh, Chino? You prefer a trail ride, I bet. Yep, You could've went by yourself on a trail ride. Not if I wanted to gallop. You don't have to gallop. But I wanted to. Plus, we don't really care. So you should've taken your mom. Your mom could've rode Storm. Storm. She doesn't have to gallop. Storm was always gonna bolt on her last time. She doesn't have to gallop though. When I gallop to her. I got a question for you. Where's your stirrup covers? 
after a lot of work. Long, long live the stirrup colors covers. They only lasted what a week? They didn't break. I know, they but didn't even last week though. You uh, just put them on once, and you're like, ah, I'm not putting them on twice. anymore. Twice. And yeah, because it's too much work putting them on and off. But it protects your saddle. I know, but they don't really make that much mark because, like, it goes away if you ride in it. Just got home, and Laura's down there by the barn in the arena, walking Penny around. So I came outside to work with Penny on the ground. This is my first ground session with Penny. It went so good, you guys. This is how it went. This is how the whole thing went. 20 minutes of this. But there was also 20 minutes of this. Gracie and Willow were running. Like, she's heaving. Look at her guts. She was just running like a crazy woman. I guess who's faster of our horses, of our ponies? Guess which one's faster? Willow. Willow could run. Holy heck. Sam was bringing the camera, but he was walking so slow. <laughs> he missed it. You guys missed it, but they were running. I mean, they were doing laps and it was beautiful. Back in the day when I would hear the pitter patter of thundering hooves, I'd be so scared and nervous. But now since I like joined the whole Pasofino gang, I love it. She thought this working out session was going to be about eating grass. I thought we'd walk around a little. I thought she'd follow me a little for treats. I've got a carrot. No, it was not like that at all. In fact, this was the worst work I've done with Penny since I've got her. Every bad session together teaches you something, right Penny? And we learned that we cannot work together in the grass. We cannot work together in the grass because you only like the grass. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?